What's up guys, it's me, The Real Tea. So as you can see, we are in my kitchen. I have not done a cooking video in a long time and this recipe is so easy and so simple. So I figured why not take you guys along with me. My ingredients are behind me on this little countertop here. You will see them in the description down below and I will have a close up video as well in case you don't like to read. And you're a visual learner like myself, so Anyway, yeah, we're going to be cooking um, chicken and dumplings in the crock pot because your girl is lazy, your girl is tired, and this is just something quick and easy. Plus, it's kind of cloudy outside, and that makes me in the mood for soup, and I'm a sucker for something easy. So, just a quick little disclaimer. I excuse the way that I look. It's Saturday. Your girl had a long week, and... <laughs> I am starting this now before I do my other chores because in the crock pot, obviously you leave it sitting for like a few hours before you're able to serve it. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep this right now and then I'm gonna be doing other cleaning around the house. So this is my first task of the day. Shout out to me for getting out of bed and getting stuff done. But yeah, so anyway, let's get started. Okay, so here we are with all the ingredients. Obviously I need some chicken, any type of um, chicken seasoning but I use this seasoned salt parsley you can use fresh parsley but I'm lazy <laughs> um, mixed veggies two pounds also you can use fresh veggies but I'm lazy um, onions I you're technically supposed to use one but I don't have a big one so I'm using two and that's why these glasses are right here because I've figured out that when I chop onions with glasses on, it doesn't burn my eyes as much. You're going to need some chicken broth, and I have two out because um, I'm going to need a little bit more than this can, and the can's the oldest. Pepper, and then cream of celery, cream of chicken, and then some biscuits. And I just tear these up into my own little pieces and throw them in there like an hour before it's done. But yeah, these are all the ingredients. Okay, so I've got my sunglasses on because I'm going to cut the onions first. I always line my crock pot with the onions. So I'm sure you guys know how to cut onions, but we'll just do this for visual purposes. And I always use this knife for onions. It is very sharp. It came with my knife set that I did for my Christmas haul. Um, but yeah, so let's cut these onions. Like I said, I prefer to use one, but it's usually large. But these are so small and I wanted to use them instead of buying more onions. So we're going to use the small ones and the reason I'm using two is because they're so small. But if you have a large onion, then you only need one. keep my glasses on because I might have to cut up another one this does not look like two onions or one large one but this is basically the size you want just like dice them they don't have to be perfect I never make my onions perfect they're like definitely not the same they're just roughly chopped okay that's all you need but yeah so you're gonna layer your crock pot with the onions first and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean one moment Okay, so now that I'm looking at this, it does not look like enough. Like I said, I usually use one extra large onion. You want the whole bottom to be coated, so I'm going to do one more. So instead of two onions, use three. But yeah, let's do another one, put it in there, and then we're going to load the chicken on. One moment. small 
so as you can see it's just a little bit more volume like this is what you want it to look like you want it to almost completely coat it but without layering too much so now we're gonna put the chicken on the top and then go from there okay so like i said the onions are in here you're gonna place your chicken on the top i could cut this but eh. but yeah obviously wash your chicken and then you're just gonna place it on the top what i'll usually do is i'll just put it in here as a whole and then shred it later but since it's in the crock pot it usually shreds on its own you also want ideally three to four i thought that i had more in that bag but i think i split them up by pound so there was only two but if you have three to four available to you i would use three but since we are working with what we're working with then two is fine Plus, they're pretty hearty, sorry guys, they're pretty hearty pieces of chicken, like they're pretty big, so I think we'll be good to go this time. But yeah, so now that the chicken's in, we are going to get a mixing bowl and mix all of the soups and the ingredients and everything together and then pour it over top. So let's do that. So basically we're done for, with this for now. Then we need to get out a mixing bowl, which I think is in this cabinet right here, so let me get that out. Actually, just kidding. I have a mixing bowl right here, so we're going to use this one. So we're going to start with the thicker soups, the cream of chicken and the cream of celery. So let me open these. And just to get all, the, all of it out, I usually just grab a tablespoon and just scoop some of it out because a lot of it just gets stuck in there, especially, especially due to the texture. So we're just going to scoop that out. Also, you can use a smaller bowl than this, but I like to have a little bit of room. It just seems to avoid messes when I use larger Tupperware. This would typically fit in a bowl of this size, but I'm just dramatic and extra, and I wanna use this large bowl, just like I said, cause I'm clumsy and I make a lot of messes. So just gonna get all that out of there. And we're gonna open the cream of celery. some parsley as I said you're supposed to use fresh but your girl is lazy so you can use as much pepper as you like I love pepper so I'm gonna throw a lot in here And then my chicken, I just went in with this roasted garlic and herb. That's just what I prefer to use on my chicken. It just gives it a slight little kick. And then some seasoned salt just for a little razzle-dazzle. So we're going to stir this up, mix everything together. I might even throw a little bit of that seasoning in this mixture as well, just to just in case because I don't want it to come out too bland but it's ultimately up to you and how you like yours this honestly looks like broccoli cheddar soup but that's like the that's the color and consistency you want it you want to make sure it's well mixed so that you could throw it in here over the chicken so this is the consistency you want it at everything is basically mixed together and we're pretty much done with this spoon so now that everything is mixed I'm gonna try it, make sure that it tastes how I want it to, and then we're gonna spread it over the chicken. So let's try it. Perfect. So now we are done with the spoon, I'm gonna put it in the sink, and then we're gonna spread this so over. I always use something like this. It's technically what I use for my desserts and my cakes, but it always gets every last drop. So I'm just gonna go in with this spoon Get around the sides and the corners and basically you just pour this over the chicken and the onion. Once it's all out, 
out of the bowl, you're gonna wanna evenly spread it. It will pull in certain areas. So just make sure that everything is coated really well and really evenly. That way it turns into the proper mix that you're wanting. So I'm almost done. So now everything is coated really well. And this is what it's going to look like, just like a chicken soup type. But that's about the consistency you want and that's how you want it so spread. So now that everything is in the bowl, so you want the chicken, the soup mixture, and then the onions. So onions first, chicken, then the soup mixture, and then you're gonna put it on high for about four hours. You might be able to get away with three and a half. It depends how well-powered your crock pot is. I'm gonna give mine about, let's say three hours and 45 minutes. You're gonna wanna cover it, obviously, and let it cook. So I cook mine on high all the time, just because I don't really see the point of the low setting. Right now it's four o'clock, so we're gonna come back at eight, and, or around eight, it might be a little bit sooner. Add the strips of the biscuits and then the frozen vegetables. And I think that's, oh, oh, actually. Actually, no, the broth, fuck, the broth. Guys, I almost forgot the broth, my bad. So we're gonna add the broth first, then we're gonna put the lid on, so. I cannot believe I almost forgot the broth. So anyway, as I said, I use less sodium all the time. It's just a personal preference. This one is also less sodium. I didn't realize I had a can in the cabinet, so I'm gonna use this because it's been in there longer than the, whatever this is called, carton. So I'm gonna use this, but we're gonna be about two ounces short of two cups. So I'm just gonna pour the remaining amount from the carton. So you're gonna pour this over, make sure you shake it well. I always just shake it just because that's, again, my preference, but yeah. So we're gonna put that in there. This is about 14 and a half ounces. So we're about an ounce short. So I'm gonna go back in with my carton and pour just a little tiny bit more just to make sure it's well coated. That might be more than an ounce, but whatever. So then, once that's done, you will turn this on, put the lid on, and give it about three hours and 45 minutes to four hours, and then you're gonna come back later and add the strips and the frozen veggies. So anyway, yeah, that's it for now. I will be back later. Okay, you guys, so that is it for now. I am gonna close out this video right now, even though it's not technically done. I will just come back and end the video with the finished product. Hopefully it turns out good, fingers crossed. done one of these videos and I don't know I was just feeling lazy these videos are pretty easy to edit they're pretty quick so that's why I chose to do a cooking video today but yeah so anyway if you like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up comment down below any other recipes you'd like me to try in future videos and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get notified every time I upload if you'd like to keep up with me outside of YouTube you can always follow me on Instagram at Tata Buddha and I'll place that here and as always thank you guys for all the love and support and i will see you in the next video love and love